So let me tell you about my philosophy professor when I was getting my bachelor's degree. I, at this time, you talking about a person that was on fire for God. Society has changed so much. I'm telling you, I was definitely more immature in my faith. And today I will probably get kicked off a of campus. Like that's how it, on fire I was. And I had someone tell me before, like, Shantae, you know, Jesus doesn't need a bodyguard, right? <laughs> so I just spoke. I did not care. You know, it's just now I would have just, I, I would have been in trouble. I would have been in trouble. But I had this philosophy um, professor and he never said it, but we all knew that he was an atheist. And one day I was in class and I was like, oh my goodness, Lord, like the person who came up with the phrase, you make my blood boil, they must have felt like this because I really felt like, oh my goodness, this man, he made my blood boil. And he... I remember when the first day of class, he scared. He was just one of those professors that just scared you out the classroom. Like, it's not going to be easy. It's not going to. We started off with a class full of people. By the time we had class again, a good portion of the people had decided to just drop it. This is like the, I'm at the end. Like, I, I wasn't in a situation where I could drop the class, but I knew I had enough brain to pass his class and I was like I'm here and I'm going to pass it and that's exactly what I did so I used to sit in the front of <laughs> in the front of the class and you know he was one of those if anybody ever want to get up and you know if you want to teach and I'll let you have the floor and blah 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 so one day he said something I don't remember exactly what the conversation was about but I remember what I said and I used the scripture taste and see that the Lord is good and I said to him how would you know if my cooking is good unless you physically taste it, chew it, put it in your mouth and digest it and swallow it? You have to experience the word of God for yourself to know if it's good or not. So I said something like that one day in class, whatever, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I remember one day, you know how you get to class before everybody and the class was practically empty. And like this guy was sitting in my chair and you know, we didn't have assigned seats in college or whatever. And I went to go find another seat. When he saw him, he was like, no. He was like, you want to sit here? And I was like, no, like I'm good. He was like, no. I think you want to sit here. <laughs> and like he got up and he walked away. <laughs> but I guess, you know, for things to happen in class, he could like feel the energy or whatever. But I read scriptures like this one I'm about to share. And it just makes me think of this professor because he was one of those. If you ask him a question, he tried to hit you with books. Like, well, did you read da 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 And did you ever read da 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 And did you? So he would try to come at you with that. In but 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 18, it says, For the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing. But to those who are being saved, it is the power of God. It is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and the intelligence of the intelligent I will frustrate. Again, the intelligence, this is God talking. God is being quoted right here. The intelligence of the intelligent I will frustrate. So-called so knowledge has a way of puffing people up, like at time. Like I know this professor thought that he was so much smarter than me. First of all, you just know that he thought I was a fool for believing in God and the Bible anyway. But because he had book knowledge and he read this and he read that, and just because it's a book doesn't mean that it's full of truth, mind you. But you know, he thought that he was so smart. Like I just, not too long ago, I went to a service and um, the pastor said, sometimes it's easier for God to make himself known to a child. Like a uh, God can make himself known 
to a child and the child will get it. But it's much harder for him to reach someone, a grown man who has a lot of education. It would be so much hard for God to break through those type of barriers because you're so puffed up, you know so much, you're so puffed up with all of this knowledge. And that's why the Bible's clearly like basically says that we have to become fools before we come before we become wise. You have to be like a child. Like you know how a child, a baby is totally dependent upon the person taking care of them. It's like you have to be so willing to allow God to empty. You gotta like empty yourself and allow God to fill you, fill you with his um knowledge but i look at scriptures i compare it to real life and this is why i love reading the word of god and guys you gotta get into the word of god pray for clarity ask the holy spirit who wrote it to give you clarity this is for christians okay <laughs> to give you clarity if you don't understand something um, and accept the fact that sometimes it may not be your time to understand it, but ask the Lord, Lord, what should I get from this? Make it clear to me. Reveal yourself to me. What is this saying about your character? Don't be afraid to ask and have those type of conversations. But this is why scriptures like this, hey, the word of God just gets me excited. So get into your word, be encouraged, and until next time, be blessed.